Hello, hello, welcome back to the Football Corner. Welcome back to another live stream, another show, another video on the channel. Uh, big ups to everybody that is tuned in nice and early. Welcome back to the Football Corner. Um, we are here to do the Aston Villa versus Arsenal preview for the game at the Emirates. So welcome back to the channel. If you're new, make sure to like the video, make sure to, uh, to share it as well on all, all platforms. Also, subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I go live, every time I make a video, all of that good stuff. Um, I am joined by a brilliant panel today. I am joined by the main man, Halftime Hooks in the building. You know what? I ain't done it in a while, so why not? striker we need at the club bro all right it's crazy we're we gonna get that we need at the club, listen bro. We're, we're gonna get to that because uh, well actually no we're not gonna get to that because i'm planning to do uh i'm planning to do a uh <laughs> that needs a whole show in itself so i'm gonna yeah. do guna lounge and absolutely, then we're gonna get yeah. into uh, that whole thing I never said that. that is absolute sh no, no i know I you never, didn't but i never said whoever, that in whoever's I'm saying club, that at the club Needs the, the whoever's saying that the club needs to be drug tested, bro, because they're on drugs, bro. They're we'll, on we'll, something. Whichever day that is, I have an appointment, so I will. I will, I will, I will not be making it. <laughs> yeah, bro, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, <laughs> you are joking. Um, but anyway, listen. I am joined by the main man, halftime hooks. I am joined by T, and the T stands for Turkish, You're and real? back again. By popular demand, it's the main man, Mr. Dimelo Mi Gente. Dimelo Mi Gente, Dimelo, Dimelo, Dimelo. Happy Friday to everybody out there, bro. Big Smash up, a like, up, show some love. I'm back. I'm happy. Let's talk some football, baby. 100%. 100%. 100%. Um, I think just, just, just quickly, just quickly while we're here, I just want you to give me your... Give me, give me your quick thoughts on the on the buying game because we haven't we haven't heard from yeah, you. Yeah, man. Um, I'm disappointed. Disappointed. <laughs> it feels like um, you know, when you get reprimanded as a kid and you're too young to get smacked in the face, but you, you're old enough to get smacked on the hand like re really mm -hmm. bad. You know, you kind of like burned yourself there. That's kind of how I feel. Um, self inflicted wounds really is what what i got from the game um i didn't feel like we were ever in a position where we were going to lose the game i felt like we were always in, in you know able to turn it around which is a good sign but let's be honest boys i mean we've been talking about mentality marvels and um if there was a game where we're going to drop points as they say right or or, or have a tie would unfortunately i didn't want it to be this way it would be this game here um I think the occasion, the 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 just the pressure of knowing that we're playing a big ass team like Bayern Munich mm. really got to our heads. And um I thought we started, you know, fairly well. And then yeah. obviously we scored the goal. And then from there, um for me, the turning point was the Ben White miss. Once that didn't go in, I already knew, all right. We just kind of we just did it to ourselves there, man. If it was anybody else, I think it would have been in the back of the net. Maybe if it was on his left foot, he probably would have put, put it, you know, far left corner. But he he had too much time. He overthought it and he hit it directly to the keeper, man. And you know, um, mm -hmm. Neuer is an experienced keeper where he just got big. But for me, that was the deciding factor there. And um, if it was a two-nil, I think it would have been a different game. Uh, I predicted a three-one. I felt like we could have had that if we would have went up to nothing. Hmm. And it wasn't a three-one convincing win. It was going to be a three-one, you know, shaky. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be a struggle to get there. But I know that you know, I was counting on my defense. And if there was ever a moment where we look at a game or we look at our Arsenal squad and and say. You know, our attackers aren't really providing what we need recently. Um, we can count on our defense to keep the goose egg. It was the opposite. You know, the, the 
the forwards got us out of a, a tight, you know, situation here. And uh, those goals were our fault. Even Declan Rice yeah. fell asleep, fell asleep on that goal, man. So uh, Raya wasn't on it either. And, and you could tell there was just nerves. And I'd rather get those nerves out of the way now. I still think we got a, um, we do have a chance to make it through, even if it's at Bayern. But this is, for me, um, pressure makes diamonds. That's something that I said about, you know, Ramsey when he came in. And we need to turn it around. Obviously, learn from our mistakes. Goes without saying, but self-inflicted wounds, man. There was no need, no need for that. We could have been 2 nothing comfortable in the match there. I would have been happy, but it wasn't meant to be. 2-2 two, two, it mm -hmm. is what it is. I still feel like we've learned a lot from that game. So I think the boys are going to be prepared for, you know, the riots over at, uh, in Germany. Yeah, no, 100 percent. My listen, I agree with a lot of what you said there. Um, yeah, I agree with what a lot of what you said there. And I think it's important to look at look at our form at the moment in regards to in the Champions League and how we're dealing with these games. And um, sorry. Yeah, it's important to look at the form that and how we're handling these games and going into them. We need to go with not as much worrying about the competition and, oh, my God, it's the Champions League and you're going to it like, it's a game. That's the opponent. That's who we need to beat. Yeah. Um, moving on to the Aston Villa game. I want to speak about Aston Villa's form of recent. And uh, I want to I want to go... Obviously, it's an open panel, so anybody can really speak about it. Um, but pull it up. Just to, just to pull up their form. So... Uh, Foot mob, here we go. So, um, if we look at Aston Villa's fix, uh, Aston Villa's results, and we look at the last results that they've had in the league, yeah. In their last five games in the league, yeah, in the league, there's one have, win. Yeah, so about? they have they do they drew three three with Brentford. Mm -hmm. They lost four one to Aston Villa uh, to to Manchester City at home at the no Etihad. Way. They won 2 0 at home against Wolves, 1 1 uh, draw against West Ham away, and 4 0 loss to Tottenham at home. at home. So I think us going into this, obviously, their form, their form is, um, uh, their form, their form coming into this, I think it's very shaky from them. To be fair, they're away for them has been like this almost the whole season man they yeah. are really really they are a completely different side when it comes to away games for some reason you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah. and uh they just capitulate they just they just don't look like the same team that's comfortable you know what i'm saying it's it, it almost feels like they only can play, play at home bro it's crazy it's so emery does, emery does stupid shit like not even just away but was it the was it the tottenham or the it was the Tottenham game, right? Where for some reason he decided to play a back five, even though they haven't played a back five throughout the And they game. lost it. They got thrashed, what, like 4 0, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, like yeah. It's, mm -hmm. he does some really weird. This is why, yeah, like all the talk about Emery, like, do you know when they had their like purple patch where they was burning guys and people are saying, oh man, oh, Emery this, Emery that. I just, I just, I just knew that it was coming. The, the, I just knew the bottling was coming. Bro, man. the hot and cold that we've seen from them, even when they. Yeah. Crazy. Boss Man City. We saw it yeah. when he was with us. And yeah. the only thing that I could give him Eddie, you know, count count tonight, um good evening, is um, you know, his 22 unbeaten streak. That's something Arteta still yeah. can't uh can't yeah. overcome. It's crazy that that guy actually did that. <laughs> Yo, like, <laughs> just the way that we were up and then they, the teams we just let them come back into the game, you could tell the inconsistent form there. Um mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. he's at a club where that's his level. Um, you know, he was at PSG before. He was at Sofia. <clears throat> and um, Europa League is kind of where he's at, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I'm pretty sure he's going to get the boys, you know, uh, up for the fight this weekend. Who's actually Who's actually yeah, out? I, think... I know Douglas Luiz is out, but who, who else is actually out for them? Wait, is he out? Uh, yeah, so he's suspended. He's... Wow. So, 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 so they're going to play better now? <laughs> <laughs> You're such a fraud, bro. You're actually <laughs> such a fraud. You know yes, that. Yes, bro. These guys wanted 80 million for this bomb. Get away. Bro, how did the 25 million turn into 80 million, bro? 
It was like it was like a, it was a package. It was uh, it was getting Douglas Luis and and his uh, Mrs. Uh, the blondie that also plays for uh, for Villa. It was a two for one. Yo, she is <laughs> sexy, bro. I can't even lie, man. She's bro. what? She's what? She, she's sexy, bro. Nah, bro. She's a typical English nah, sexy, English bro, girl man. for me, bro. I, yeah, I wouldn't there's a, even. There's, a, there's oh. another one as well. Yeah, I can't remember her name. She's Croatian. Ah, oh, uh, I've got. I follow her on Instagram. Who's that? I can't remember her name. Do you know what? Yeah, when I find when I find the profile, yeah, I'll send it into the group chat. But she's ling. Yo, some of these female footballers. Yeah. What's yeah. that? The Croatian thing. Yeah, Anna I know Sarkovic. her, the blonde, the blonde one, Anna, Anna yeah, Markovic. Yeah, yeah. Anna yeah. Markovic, yeah, yeah, don't worry, Vrosky, don't worry. Yeah. Damn, you yeah, guys, yeah, Vrosky, of course No, 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 because, bro, I stumbled upon her, I stumbled yeah, yeah, upon yeah. her, yeah, oh, yes, one time. Uh, no, no, because I was looking for the football <laughs> stuff, bro. Well, this guy, bro. Well, like, this guy is trying to do me dirty, like, this, bro. Why are you act like I'm skipping? Like, I'm, uh, I'm the phone piece, bro, relax. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I was just looking through football stuff, and she just popped up, bro, doing kick-ups and that, and... And I saw that yeah, she actually plays bro. for some for, for some Croatian club. I was like, what the hell was this? Um Kamara, <laughs> look, at, look at Abdi well, like, Hey, listen, man, listen, allow me, bro. Yeah. It's, it's, I stumbled, bro. I stumbled upon it, bro. It's crazy. But so they, um, so they, they don't have Kamara, but and they don't, they, and yeah, they don't so, have Douglas Louise. That's a lot of energy out of so them. So Douglas Chilis. Louise and Kamara are missing. How do we think that's gonna affect their team? That's a lot of energy out of them. I want to go to T for that actually. I want to go to T because I want to. Very good defensively. I want. I want to get T's T's input on that. I don't. What What do you think is going to do to their team missing a Douglas Luiz and Kamara? And can you actually speak about Douglas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to play that here. I'm going to be real. I'm going to be real. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to believe the shameless. Thank you. Takes takes. I'm going to put it away for now. Thank you. Um. Yeah. I mean. Douglas Lewis is one of their vocal points when it comes to their midfield, bro. It's literally, in my opinion, maybe their best midfielder. You know what I'm saying? And um, he's that good for them. You know what I'm saying? Because he can defend, but he also can attack. He also he has amazing passing, and he also can uh, crack a shot as well. You know what I'm saying? So that will be a big miss, a huge miss. And um, and Kamara, yeah, bro, that that uh, defensive machine. Um, it's it's like it's like if we compare it because they don't have like a big, repl- I mean, who plays for Kamara now, for them? Do you, uh, you so for Kamara, you got McGinn. For, yeah. So let me just get the. Yeah, but Tillemans uh, is not. Uh, Tillemans was playing CDM. for them. Tillemans uh, Tillemans was playing for them in their last game. Hey, bro, uh, uh, instead you're, of you're saying it good, man. You're saying it good. There you are. Um, Allah, you're saying it good. Allah. So in their last games, they were playing this this kid who actually got a goal, uh, called Morgan Rogers. Mm. He's been playing pretty well, you know, since he's come in. I won't lie. He's been playing. He's, he's a young play. kid. He's 21. Yeah. He's 21. Do you know what I mean? Is is it is it basically a Miley kind of thing? You know what I'm saying with Newcastle? Is is it yeah. that kind of a uh, youngster? Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know because Lewis Lewis Miley is. I think he's further ahead in his development. But Morgan Rogers, he, he so from what I've seen from when he's come in to play for Aston Villa, mm. he's played really well. Like he's got a lot of energy. He makes a lot of driving runs. He'll be he'll be someone that he expect him to be making a lot of driving runs through the midfield. Like mm. he's not afraid to run with the ball. So. Uh, so, so, he ain't, big, so, so he ain't gonna do um, shit, basically. <laughs> yeah, like we should be able, we should we should be able to lock him. I wouldn't be worried about him, but he is someone. He is strong. Yo, my man like, is tall too, bro. He's, yeah, he's four. strong. He's strong. He's 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 not someone that you can just knock off the ball. Like he will hold the the barges and and carry on running through. So yeah, he's a nice little young player. That I won't lie. Mm. Okay, but uh, yeah. Anyway, Kamara and uh, Douglas Luiz are there. I mean, in my opinion. Douglas Luiz is the biggest miss, obviously, uh, because it is basically their best midfielder. And uh, Tielemans, uh, I'm happy that we didn't end up getting him, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's been super underwhelmed. He, he's really yeah. slow, isn't it? Like, he's just really slow. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. He's very, but he was very, always very... like that. Even even yeah. in Belgium, when I watched him, uh, he he was just like that. But he has a really, really good right foot, bro. That That's yeah. what he has. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like it's like if you compare him to a player, not in quality wise right now, but in a play style wise, he's basically like a Juninho. 
from Leon. You know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. It's, it's one Ooh. of them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, oh, you it's said one of them. I was about to say quality wise because boy, Janino's free kicks. Yeah. 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 My They're my favorite is free high. kick taker, bro. He was crazy. Yeah. Bro, I was about to say he's more like a Jaka in my opinion. Nowhere near a Janino. Yeah, mm. but if uh, for, for uh, when he was, I, I mean, when he was at Belgium, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah, I was yeah, yeah. talking about that. He went then. to Monaco as well, right? right. Yeah, mm. because because uh, now when he was at Leicester and uh, he didn't, in my opinion, show the same quality that he did at uh, Belgium. But um, I'm happy that we didn't end up getting him because ever since he went to Aston Villa, he's been underwhelming, like Hook said. Yeah. And yeah. Um, if he plays, um, I wouldn't be as worried. As if uh, when Douglas Luiz would, would play, in my opinion. Mm. So I think that's a huge downgrade. And uh, also the young gun, we, we, we're not going to... That's a hit and miss. You, you never know if a young young player is going to perform against the big side like Arsenal away. You know what I'm saying? That's a yeah. hit and miss. At least Kamara brings you consistency. That's the difference between... But I, can't, but I can't lie, bro. For me, personally, looking at this, yeah, Kamara, obviously, like you said, he is a massive miss for them. But I think Douglas Louise is a bigger miss. A yeah, bigger miss. Said, yeah. Because, oh, did you? Yeah, yeah, I said that. I said it's, uh, Douglas Have we Louise said it was big... Kamara? No, no, no. I said Douglas Louise is their biggest miss because it's the, basically their He's best. Oh, than... okay. He's... Sorry, I'm, I misunderstood what you said. That. I thought you were saying Kamara is a bigger miss than Douglas Louise. Okay. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I, I agree with what T was saying. Um, I think, I think listen, uh, Douglas Louise is a massive miss. Not only is he their creative point in the team, like, all of these little tricky, um, quick free kicks that he does mm. to get Ollie Watkins. Him and Ollie Watkins are on a first name basis type of thing, bro. Like it's straight. He knows when Ollie Watkins making a run, he does the quick little free kick. Most times, Ollie Watkins gone, yeah, mm. and he's one on one with the keeper, and they love to do that. They often do that over and over again, and I feel like that's gonna be a massive miss for them, in my personal opinion. Um, and I think he's a quality player, man. I, I legit can't wait for him. If he is coming to the Arsenal, I can't wait for next season. Okay, um, let's not go too far. Let's bro, not go can far. you relax? Can you I let me just it. like big up my guy and say I can't wait for him to come to my club? I can't bro, wait for it's Douglas Louise. It's your guy, yeah. I can't wait for I can't wait yeah. for Douglas Louise. Bro, to come they, to they my are club. at second and base as already, bro. Comes in, <laughs> as soon as as soon as Douglas Louise comes into my club, yeah, I'm gonna be the first one to get his Yo, name on the back of a shirt, bro. You just want you, know you know just mean? want his missus to come with him. That's what it is. You know? Yeah, yeah bro, bro, one. That's bro, what we, we already yeah, have Kivior's wife in the squad, bro. For real, bro. Seriously. Why would we need Douglas Louise, bro? Yo, but there is a big difference between them. Who's who's his missus? Douglas, Louis, Douglas Louise's missus has a bigger, you know, rump shaker than than. Hey, the twer- what are we the doing? Bro? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> the age. The age. Yo, bro, can age, I still? Age, can, age, I still age, use, can I? Can yeah, I still Ramadan use this? Over, right? I'm, I'm, I'm still gonna use it. Dragati for Ramadan. For Ramadan, ya jamaa, what's the dragati? Allah. I listen. I don't know what we're talking about. Rump shakers and, and all of this. What did he say? Yeah, bro. Rump shaker, bro. Look, no, look it up, shaker, man. Bro. Look it up for all my 90s babies. Rump all my crazy. 90s babies. They don't know. They know the deal. Hey, but well, listen. I, 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 say that's so, so, for me, so old school, bro. <laughs> mad old school. <laughs> yeah. Bro, it's crazy. But for me, I, I just, I can't lie. I think, I think. Oh, let you say in there, not there, not yeah, they, yeah, they broke, they broke who, who was back. his missus. Who was his missus? No, that, that was her. That, that was, was, was they were together. Who? They were, they were What's her name? She What's plays for Villa as well. She plays for Villa. Yeah, man, she plays for Villa, man. I can't remember her name. She's Lang. Is it Alicia? Alicia, yeah, 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 yeah. Alicia. Sorry. Oh, the blonde thing with the, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You stumbled upon <laughs> her too, yeah. You stumbled upon her too. No, right? no, I knew, I knew her because I saw, I saw her come up on Instagram, bro. A lot of Instagram, these these things just come up on Instagram for life. Um, it's crazy. Bro. Oh, wait, so you can crazy. these things on Instagram, but you can't follow me, brother, me. brother. Yeah. It's all is. Uh, so hold on. So why are you trying to draw me out live on the video, bro? Why are you trying to draw me out live, bro? All right, in front of the, in front of the people, in front of the people, in front of the people, you're trying to draw me out, yeah. When I when you have my number, yeah, you have my Twitter. Brother, what do you want next? My address? So you can come yeah, through to my yeah. house and we can sit oh, yeah. in and have tea together? Yeah, yeah. 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 relax, yeah. man. What's going on? Yeah. 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 Let's go, man. Let's go, man. You know what? Uh, Saski Gunas on a mad one. A man said uh, madness, bro. What's going on? 
yeah, yeah, yeah I'm not even gonna on, put that comment on, up, but big on, up to you, on. big up to you, Saski Guna, my guy. <laughs> um, anyway, listen, lads, they come to the Emirates this weekend. How are we looking in regards to playing them? What, 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 what's your, what's your thoughts on, what's your thoughts on how we're gonna recover from the draw on the on on Tuesday? Um, obviously, we we've had we've had more time to rest. They've had less because they had to play Lille. Um, but what what are your thoughts on on them coming coming to the Emirates on on Sunday? We just have to win. How we, we can how we how we're gonna recover? To be honest, it's just, as, it's just as simple as that. We just have to win. Like, not it doesn't even really matter about the players that they have out because even with those players in, we still just have to win. Like. Man City and Liverpool are both going to win their games this weekend, so we just have to get the W as well. It's just it's just that simple. It doesn't like, even matter how we win. Yeah, exactly. Really, at this point, yeah. Um, I, 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 I honestly, it's literally for me. It's just pragmatic football now, isn't it? Like, I, just get a goal, yeah. And if we need to lock into a defensive shape, just to keep it locked down and keep that clean sheet and not really break, have too many chances go against us and we just make it some boring game. Simple. Just do it, man. Man don't want to be seeing no tricks, no flicks, no backflips, no bicycle kicks, no volleys, no long-range shots, no nothing. <laughs> I want to see none of that. No smart corners, no smart free kicks, none of that. Just keep it basic, man. There's seven games left. Mm. We could get... We could get to the Tottenham game, yeah. Win the Tottenham game, yeah. If we win every game up to the Tottenham game, then win the Tottenham game. We we probably won the league. We so, won the league. I think. I think if that happens and we win that Tottenham game, yeah, we we, we're league. winners. We're winners. So, I think that's it. The league's done. So this is what genuinely I mean. like we we also we need to be ruthless as well, yeah. Like. If we go up against Aston Villa and we win, but say, for example, Saka puts in a stinker, yo, Bedrin, Arteta, he's got a whole bench, man. Like, I'm not even trying to get at Saka. I'm just, I'm using him, Saka as an example of someone who's a key player for us, that if they play bad in this running, they should hold bench, just so they understand that this period of the Prem, everybody needs to be 10-10. I don't mm -hmm. care how Would you, you get to you say the your... same about uh, Erdogan? Erdegaard, I would say the same about Havertz. I would say the same about Trossard. I would say the same about Ben no White. I would say the same if he's, about... He bro, named, Trossard he is already Havertz? the bench captain, bro. He's, like, he's serious, bro. He's like, serious look, if you mention like, Havertz, look, yeah, bro. I'm not being funny, yeah? Like, don't get me wrong, yeah? I love yeah. all these players, yeah? And, yeah, yeah. Like, I love them, innit? But I, it, we're so close. Like, we're actually so close. Like, deep it, yeah? We, we've won 10 games and drawn one game in this half, or no, this year. Like, we're actually so close. Like, we shouldn't do anything that jeopardizes us winning games, yeah? Anything. I don't care what it is. I don't want to see anyone lose their cool. I don't want to see anyone lose their head. Do you know what, yeah? Do you know how deep it is? Even ruthless in the sense that, say, for example, we're playing Aston Villa, yeah? And one of their players gets injured, yeah, all rolling about on the floor and all of that. F him, yeah. Just carry on playing. It's now eleven versus ten. You know what I mean? Like we don't need to kick the ball out. Is his head injured? No, we don't need to kick the ball. We out. never we do that anyway. Kick. We never nah, do that anyway. Bro. Nah, sometimes I see us try to be nice. We don't need to be nice. We need. Yeah, yeah but majority of the time we don't do that, bro. But you know what's you know what's fucked about this scenario, bro? You, you know what's you know what's so fucked about this scenario? We have an amazing form. We haven't lost in like how many games? 11? Yeah. 10, 11 games? It's 13, I think. 13, 13 games. games. Yeah. And um, if, if you only leak, uh, count leak. But, and Aston Villa has a shit away for him. Bro, what better to scenario to go to, to, for everything to go wrong than this scenario, bro? Because I know. They, I hear it. They, 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 have, they are like extremely yeah. shit. And yeah. we are extremely in form. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This could be the nail in, in, in the coffin. So we need it to could. keep that in mind and could. exactly could. do what you said and play pragmatic football and yeah. not risky football like we played against Bayern München. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that, that, that ended up costing us. But I don't think that we will. Do you know what? Yeah, Part of me I, as well, I, yeah. We I, don't to, think, we, I don't think We so. need to put this... Um, we, need, we, we, we we need to put this Emery thing in in the coffin now, in in the grave. Like we need we need to seal it and just just make people realize. Do you get me? We made the right decision in in cutting them as quickly as we did because 
if you deep it culturally as a club, we don't usually do that. Do you know what I mean? So, and it probably took a lot of people for, for surprise that we did do that in it. But we just need to, we need to, because too many people try and make it a conversation between Arteta and Emery, and I don't even think that it's close. So we need to put all this talk to bed, yeah? And we need to carry on piling on the pressure, yeah? Because don't, don't be, don't be fooled, yeah? Both Klopp, and Pep will be watching this game and they will be telling their players, watch this game because we are the guys now. We're the ones that everybody needs to knock off the top. It was Liverpool. Liverpool had their time. They was at the top, but then they flopped. And then we took over and now we're at the top. Yeah. We need to remain there. That's all it is. Do you know what I mean? I don't, and, and you know what? Yeah. If, if, if we cannot win this game, yeah, even a draw is bad in my eyes. If we cannot win this game, I think that may even have an even more adverse impact on our game against Bayern in midweek. So yeah, a hundred percent. So we we need to just, I, like, look. I, I'm saying all this, yeah, but I have full confidence that we'll go win. I don't know how much we'll win by. I'm pretty mm. confident we'll be able to keep a clean sheet. I think we'll be able to keep them out. Um, mm. That's even if even if um, Gabriel doesn't play, which I think yeah. he will. I think it's just a little a precaution thing that he, he's not training too much before the game. But um, yeah, I, I, I just don't think that they'll be able to unlock us. And I also think that Emery is similar to um, Ange in the sense that they're very stubborn about the press and the high line. Yeah. And I think how- we're going to, I think we're going to see a reaction, fellas. Uh, that's, that's how I'm feeling. Like, if I, if I don't see a reaction to go ahead and just close the game out quick, um, then what are we doing here? You know what I mean? I, I know you were saying being pramatic and, and, and close shop or do, you know, do the dark arts or whatever the hell it is. I get it. I get it. But you know, if, if the defenders and the goalkeeper, the defensive line of ours, isn't disappointed in themselves to go ahead and try to, you know, gain that momentum back before the Bayern game, then, you know, I think they're going to still have that those those um, mistakes in in mind. Let, let's be honest. I think a reaction is definitely needed. Uh, they don't they don't have Maddie Cash. They don't have Leglent. They don't have Mings. So in you know they're going to have Cones on the right hand side. You know, last time we played him, I think he did very very well against uh, who was it Martinelli playing down that side or Trossard? Uh, Pau Torres. He's somebody that could pop up with a goal. You know, now and then. And then the other player that they have is Diego Carlos, which is defensively, mm. you know, astute. Um, on the left side, you got Lucas Dina, which is, you know, could be a potential threat off a free kick. And well, Dina Alex always Dina, plays but... good against us. That's exactly. Yeah. That, that's exactly. one of them. That's even one of against those... Everton. Even when he was at Everton, he was playing yeah. good yeah. against us. Mm-hmm. And McGinn always likes to pop up. My biggest thing is if we don't go ahead and give them the time of day, especially without a Douglas Luis and a Camara. If we go ahead and win the midfield battle, I think we're going to go ahead and, and definitely see the reaction that we need. We need to win the midfield battle. Um, whether we're going to play with a Zinni or a Kivior to go ahead and hold it down, especially that now that we're home, just to kind of control the ball a little bit more, mm. we'll, we'll get to see. You know, that's a different conversation. But for me, I'm, I'm feeling confident. Um, even if I see mm. a 2-1 win and, and they score in the last minute, that's kind of how I see it going. But let's go I ahead and meet I really want a clean sheet, man. I'm taking a lot of pride in the lack of goals that we've conceded in the Premier League season. So I would like to keep a clean sheet. For sure, bro. For sure. We should have kept a clean sheet against Bayern. Let's be let's be honest, man. And that's why I'm saying I think we need to see a reaction. A goose egg is definitely needed to go ahead and just build that confidence up um, and and kind of, you know, show Bayern that there was a blip. And, and, and bro, let's be real. Good. City slapped them up for one, bro, at their own home. Why shouldn't yeah. we? Exactly. What's the difference? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, yeah. uh, we have no players out apart from Gabriel potentially, but that shouldn't be a problem, bro. That shouldn't be a yeah. problem. Because especially if they play someone like Zaniolo, because that guy yeah. is a Slow. crazy bozo. Shout Slow. out to uh, Galatasaray, uh, 45 million, easy cash. Thank you, Aston Villa, as well, for the easy yeah. cash. But... Um, yeah, man, it's 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 one of them. Uh, I think it's it it could be a high scoring game for us if we really if we're really serious, bro. If we really want to 
plant our feet and let people know, okay, we are not, uh, we are here to stay and not fall off TK, like TK, normally I, happens. I hear then, you, bro. Then we smash them this game. And mm. like you said, Kapo, we, uh, we give them the reaction. You know what I'm saying? Because we sometimes, when we lose or when we draw, uh, you know what I'm saying, and we when we perform badly, we, we tend to we tend we tend to do that in a, a couple of games, not one-off games. You know what I'm saying? Last time this happened, the next game we 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 recovered immediately, and I want this time to happen exactly the same thing. Yep. You know what I'm yep. saying? Yep. Yep. I do not want a Fulham West Ham scenario. I want that other scenario where we lost. I think one. Th- uh, which one? Which game was that, bro? I'm. It's on the tip of my tongue. I uh, tongue. I uh, forgot. West Ham. What are you talking about? No, it's uh, not West Ham Fulham. But there was another game that we fluffed. Which one was that? I think the li- the Liverpool. No, game, we uh, FA Cup we game. we Liverpool FA Cup game. So so yeah. we the games that we've lost this season has been the Aston Villa game. We have Fulham. fluffed on both Fulham games. We have also lost the uh, Liverpool FA Cup. Yeah, that that, that was, long. I was I was talking about the Liverpool one. Yeah, because Liverpool after, FA Cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After we lost that one, the next game we immediately came back like uh, like nothing happened. You know what I'm saying? And we won again. So I need this. I need this time to be the same. I need uh, I need these guys to be mm. um, not dwell on the fact that we effed up a little bit at home against them. You know what I'm saying? And just keep on the motivation, win this game, and use that motivation for that Bayern game at the Allianz Arena. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, that, that's, that's, that's what, I see. That's what I'm think, hoping to see, man. That's what I'm hoping I, to see. I can't lie, yeah? I think I think this this game, yeah, we're going to see like Saka trying to get his revenge from what happened on, on the weekday with the whole penalty thing because he was like seriously pissed. Like he was going for the ref. After the game, he freaking put a, a post up. Obviously, I don't know what your thoughts are, Capo, um, on on the penalty. But it, it, obviously, Saka was Saka was on his social media, putting like pissed off faces and all sorts. So I think he's gonna come out this game. He's gonna be like, bro, I'm gonna go out there angry. I want to get the goals, and he's just. I really hope we get like a good. Like, you know when revenge comes out and a player goes out, they're pissed off, but in a good way, where they're just like, bro, I just want to lace down anybody that's in front of me. I really hope that happens on Sunday. Am I the only one? Bro, it was, it was Am like... Am I the only one who thinks that it's Saka's fault? It was like Denzel... Bro, it was like Denzel going against Leo DiCaprio, bro. It was like the <laughs> Grammy goes to Neuer for making believe like he wasn't doing shit. But at the same time, Saka knew what the hell he was also doing. So yeah, man. I've I'm, seen I'm, them. I've seen them given, and I've seen them being yeah, not given. So it, it, it's just one of those elements where this is football for you, bro. Football I, I was personally, I was more, I was more mad at Saka than the uh, yeah. ref. Of course, Saka, I'm real, bro. Saka shouldn't be mad at the penalty. What Saka should be mad at is that he didn't just carry on. He, why did you swing your leg out like that, bro? Just. You should have just carried on and scored. That's what you should be mad at. Be mad at yourself. Meg his ass, bro. He left himself open, bro. bro you know he what? had enough that. time before he went past him, bro, to shoot it as well, bro. Don't, don't, I, I don't, I, I really don't want our players going into this game feeling like it's a revenge thing because it's not a revenge thing. That's clouding your mind. That you're thinking about too much. Just focus on the game. Just get the W. Like, I hear you guys with the reaction thing and, wanting us to kill off Aston Villa. Like, look, if we can kill them off in a way that doesn't jeopardise us, then cool, do it. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what all the big teams do. That's what the top teams do, isn't it? But I'm just saying, don't chase that. Don't have it in your mind that we have to destroy them. Like, because we don't. All we need is to win. It doesn't matter what the win is. At this point, our goal difference is so far ahead. Yeah, it doesn't even really matter if it's a 1-0, 2-0 or an 8-0. Do you know what I mean? The only only thing that the 4-5-0 does is maybe it puts Liverpool and Man City in a scenario where they feel like in their games coming up, they have to overcome it. And maybe that's a good thing. But I don't think that we should be chasing it. We don't need to. Just the Mm -hmm. W. However we get the W, I don't care if it's a a throw wardrobe thing. Do you know what I mean? Just bare Mm -hmm. tall, big guys leaping towards the ball and getting them headers at the corners in it. I don't care how we get the win. Just get the win. When was the last time we scored off a set piece? Um, It's been a minute. You know what I mean? A few games ago, so... Yeah, it's one so, of those where we need to bring out all those options, man. At the end of the day, it's a must win. There's no nothing else but a W counts. Yeah, and and, and but you, this but you, 
during the week you know, shouldn't be an excuse for us not for us to drop points. It shouldn't be an excuse, man. Yeah, no, definitely. I agree. But you know what? Yeah, I want to share something with you guys, isn't it? Yeah. Look, I've been thinking about it a lot recently, yeah. And I think I'm finally ready to share it, innit? Yeah. We're probably gonna get onto team selection at some point, yeah. But yeah, yeah, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna get into it. I, I think that for me, yeah, I think Martinelli has to hold bench for the rest of the season, and it like mm. I have I now look I no longer have confidence in his ability to do what I need him to do on the left. Like, I don't feel like he's comfortable playing the way that Arteta wants him to play. I also feel like that's why we're looking for another left winger because he just, I don't know what it is. Like, it it just feels like he doesn't know how to play in the system while also being dynamic. And for me, that's a big problem. And I feel like he's lost a lot of his dynamism I don't feel like defenders are, are necessarily scared to play high versus him anymore because he rarely uses his speed. It's like all the traits that made you so good last season, you're just not showing them anymore. And I guess the only real real difference now is I feel by you playing on starting on the left, you're taking a lot of game time away from Trossard, who is someone who is really clinical in front of goal. And I just think I would rather... Trossard play as many minutes now in the latter part of the season because I'm more confident in maybe not Trossard being able to find that final ball, but definitely if he's in a position where he can score, I'm so much more confident. There you are. In him I, I know what you said. Than, <laughs> than, than Martinelli. Like, you know, and it's like I said, it's just it now's the time that we have to be ruthless. Like, if we have to be ruthless in these last seven games and say, Martinelli, hold bench and you come on as a sub, that's cool. Because in the summer, maybe there's a training program we can do. Maybe you can adapt. Maybe you learn some more. You review the season. I don't know. What, that's do that you not think cool. somebody on the left side, like a Tom Yasu, could be more of an assistance to... Because, uh, let's face it, if, if Martinelli is to play his proper role, he needs... He needs somebody to either invert or he needs somebody to, to overlap on him. No, though, him but up. he hasn't been getting he, any overlaps with Kivio. He, he, oh, that's doesn't, he doesn't. That's the thing. I think I think we need to we need to go with Tommy Asu on that side if we're really going to... I don't think benching him is the, is, is the real solution. How are you going to... I mean, you listen, bench, yeah, but... Uh, uh, Hooks, I hear you, bro. I want to I wanna give, I wanna give Hooks a break because I see where he's coming from and no... This is not my Trossard agenda. <laughs> Let's not, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's, this is not funny business. I'm there serious. you are. Because the way we play right now, it's better to play someone like Trossard who is much more cleaner and yeah. more and gives us more a guarantee with the ball. Because yeah. Martinelli does the risky stuff. You know what I'm saying? The stuff that uh, uh, ends up us losing the ball sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Trossard is just way more secure when it comes to dribbling with the ball, keeping the ball on his feet, shielding players away, you know what I'm saying? And then finding another player. I think those things Trossard does better than uh, Martinelli because it, you can see that he's a more mature player than Martinelli yeah. still. You know what I'm saying? And if we want to continue playing the Kiviors, the Zinchenkos right now because Tomiyasu uh, apparently has another knock or a niggle. I don't know what it is. I hate that word, by the way. Who is uh, this? Who is this? Tomiyasu. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Arteta didn't play him and played Zinchenko against Bayern München because Tomiyasu had something. So uh, if we want to keep continuing playing Kivio, the Kiviors and the Zinchenkos, then I see where Hooks is coming from when he says that we need to bench Martinelli in the meantime because Trossard is a better player for that current player that he has on the left back with him. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But I mean, I, listen, I, I, I would well, I would like, like to agree. I just feel like Trossard is, is such an asset coming off the bench. He just gives us something different. I feel like Martinelli wearing down the right back. I mean, look at where, you know, Kimmich was for, for the second goal. You know, he was nowhere near Trossard and he just gave us something a little bit different there. You know what I mean? So, I hear you guys. I get it. But at the same time, we cannot just bench the kid now because we have to get him out of this form. Let's be honest. We have to get him out of this form. Now, now, now if we're going to hand him, we're going to bench him for a Trossard. Maybe this might be the game for it. I, I, I just, 
in my opinion, now's not the time, man. If maybe if maybe if we're talking and we've got like fifteen to twenty games left of the season, then I'll say yeah, we need to try and find Martinelli is form. But with seven games left to go, cool. Yeah. So then you're gonna take you're gonna take Kivior out because of his 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 inconsistency as well. I mean, me personally, yeah. Like the 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 the, the difference is, yeah, is I know with Kivior, yeah, if he doesn't have to face someone like Asane or like a really like world-class winger with a lot of pace, then defensively he's calm. That's that's the thing. Like I, what what I need from Kim But we also have not much he, choice, bro. He, yeah, he that's can, what I'm saying. We don't we don't really have a choice here. We, I mean, we, unless, have, unless we have to play Kivior. <laughs> unless we're playing <laughs> Habits on the middle and then Jesus on the left again. No, no, but, like, well, I guess what I'm saying is the, the difference is yeah is like, at, at a basic level all I need from Kiwior, yeah, is to be defensively sound, yeah. That's a lot easier, yeah, than all of the things that Martinelli has to think about that clearly he's not able to execute on the pitch, yeah. I'm I'm sorry, if if you're if you're a starting winger at Arsenal, yeah, uh, we're meant to be a big club, yeah, I don't want to hear none of this, I can't play properly when X is playing. Bro, it's not, it's not playing. about playing properly, bro. He's always got two people on him every bro, time. Bro, get the best at your player. He can't go to it's the line. He no, can't go to the line. He can't bro, go in. You can't Saka do always that, bro. has two three people on him. No, no, no. no but yeah, but then you yeah. got... Then you, then you he's got Erdegaard. Like going around. You have Ben Wright. No, no, but it's not even Ben White. It's Erdegaard. He's got Erdegaard helping him. There's always that Saka, three Saka gets assist. Saka is assisting a lot. Saka is assisting... Shall I Hold on, hold on. Hooks, like, hooks, because that is what you've said. What you've said has actually pissed me off. Because nah, what, what, what? I'll, t- I'll tell you the reality Brilliant. of the situation. The reality of the situation is that nah. Martinelli on that left side is neglected to Ross. Neglected nah, man. to Ross. Man's left out there, and they say to him, "Freestyle it. Just whatever you can. Nah, if man. you get something, you might get the ball over there. But majority of the time, it's going to Saka's side because that's Wait, the, the, same, that the that we put season. all the four into. The and that's where we. But the, but the, this was this was true last season. Like Erdegaard was mainly on the right last season. Like this is not just something that yes. happened this season. But yes, you know what yes, this was last season. Fine. So, but you know so it's down, down to Mikel Arteta, it's not credit, down to bro, Martinelli. But do you know what the difference was last season? When Ma- when Martinelli had the ball, he would cut in and he would either try and whip it in or he would shoot. But he Look, had he Look, had a midfielder who would help answer. him. And he's passing, bro. Here's like, your answer, bro. Had... Here's your answer, bro. Shaka was balling out, bro. When Trossard, he had a midfielder that overlap him in Granit Xhaka. Granit Xhaka would offer him a run, an extra pass so he can play one, two off of Oops. him and get past the defender. Bro. The football the football does not lie. When Saka is on the pitch, we always go down Saka's side and we support Saka because we know he's going to get double teamed as well. When Martinelli is on the other side, go do what you got to do, take on the man and figure it out. Once Trossard comes in, where has Trossard's goal been coming from? From Martinelli's side, then we switch it from Saka to then support Trossard's finishing. So no, that's it, the way no, I'm looking I, at it. I, no, I don't believe. I don't. It, it's it, uh, like that's it's just, a, but, but look at how we've been playing. Where are all the goals from Trossard coming from? Where are all the goals from Trossard coming from? Either the down the middle is, or on the left hand side. But the goals are coming from Trot. This is the point I'm trying to make. The goals they're not coming from Martinelli right now. They're just not. They're not even just the goals. Nothing is coming from Martinelli. So yeah. why am I why am I having Martinelli start yeah and yeah. play 65 70 minutes and bring in on Trossard for the last 20 because he when, scores no matter what he yeah, scores when yeah, he yeah. Comes but, yeah but the thing is yeah, yeah, it's about thing is, why, am I, why am I relying on that why why am why am I putting myself in a position so then when we put where, Trossard into into right. play to start and he doesn't score and then we got to go but, ahead and put Martinelli yeah, but this, in but this is the that's thing. that's but friendly but competition bro anyway Starting but Trossard is, is horrific. Is bro, that's what I'm saying. saying right now. Starting Starting Trossard, you, say that, you, you say that, yeah, about Trossard, starting Trossard is horrific. But what's the difference between him starting starting him and starting Martinelli this season? Because, right now, because, shall I tell you, shall right I tell now, you what the difference is? Shall I tell you what the difference is? When ahead. you start Trossard, he doesn't have that same fight as when you bring him on. When you bring him on as a an, an, a substitute, fire in his belly, bro. he's got fire in his belly, bro. He's he wants to get out there. He wants to do something for the team. So I why see did the he difference. why did he perform well when he played striker then when he started as striker? 
Exactly. Brother, it's one game. Why are we always going back to that one game? Not one game. Not one game. So go look at the other games. Cook them. Cook them. Should we? Should we speak about when he was on the left against who? I'm just saying. Okay. And and he started that game and he was absolutely invisible the whole game. I rate Martinelli. I rate Martinelli. Let's not get this. Wrong. I rate Martinelli, but yeah, so Hooks, right. is, but Hooks not, is right. right Hooks is right in the fact that it's crunch time, bro. Crunch. And I and okay. I agree. The only player that can get everything out of Martinelli is Tomiyasu. You know what I'm saying? And if he is not available, bro, if mm. you have to play the Kiwi in the left back who is a little bit rotten and a little bit uh, ripe, you know what I'm saying? Then you will have a weaker Martinelli. Trossard doesn't suffer as much. Exactly. And that's the difference, bro. Because the okay. way he dribbles, the way he controls the ball, the way he's with the ball is way cleaner, way more mature than Martinelli is. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And, All right. And and uh, yeah, it's 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 a it's a tough one, man. Because you know how I rate Martinelli, bro. I just want to see yeah. Tomiyasu with him, and I also want to see a proper number eight with him, bro. You know what okay. I'm saying? I yeah, would. Yeah, that's, that's I, would, fine. I would gamble. I would gamble on Martinelli giving him another shot against Villa. And then, if anything, if he doesn't perform this game, I would definitely tr- start Trossard, um, you know, uh, at uh, Allianz Arena. That's kind of how I'm looking at it. That's that's kind of why I'm, I'm I'm pushing it back. I hear you. He's definitely been inconsistent. He hasn't been the same Martinelli that we all wanted to see. Um, but let's not say that he's shit. Let's not say that. I'm not saying that not he's not. I'm not saying that he's shit. I okay. just think I'm, he doesn't uh, get the I, I'm just saying that's that he, at this moment he is a, he's he's really wasteful. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he's he, just he, not... he hasn't even been getting chances, bro. I haven't even seen him. Brother, like, he's been shot. he's been injured. He's been injured. When he when we were, when we were scoring a bag of goals, when we were scoring a bag of goals. Who came on on Crystal Palace? Uh, who came on against Crystal Palace and scored two goals? Bang, fresh, done. Because he and and funny enough, that's because he had a midfielder on the side that was actually helping him out and producing balls in behind. Wait, he, that was actually helping him out. Did you say when he came yes. on as a sub? As a sub, yes. Which is what I'm. Which is what I'm suggesting. So I'm. I'm right. Okay, we can we can speak about when he started and he was dangerous and he's pulling players away from the side so he can help out the midfield and he can help out the the front. Bro, Bro like, the, the, being, you guys you guys have seen you guys right have now. seen you guys we're have we're seen you guys right have now. seen you guys have seen okay. one game against Bayern and all of a sudden it's it's No, it's not, it's not one game against okay, Bayern. Okay. Can Bayern. I say one thing? Can I say one thing please? No. Can I say one thing please? You said, Ola, I want to move uh, on to the lineup. No, Ola, normally I'm normally moving. normally I wouldn't disagree with you, Capo, you're my guy, you know what I'm saying? We all we we share the no, same sure. opinion about everything, yeah, you know bro, what I'm saying? For sure, bro. For sure. You ain't even got to say, yeah, 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 I feel you. But but at this case, bro, I I have to disagree with you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because did you know that our baller Martinelli only played two less games than Leandro Trossard? Only two less games, bro. And the output of these two players is way different. Martinelli has eight goals, five assists, which is decent, but Trossard has 13 goals, two assists. You know what I'm saying? And, but where, and where, eight... where has Trossard got some of his goals from, other than the left wing? Uh, striker, number eight. And what are the minutes? Uh, so let's not let's not be disingenuous. What are the minutes? Minutes? Difference? Okay, let, let me get because we minutes. can all oh. say we can all say games. Gabriel, but the minutes are different. Okay, Gabriel Martinelli has more minutes. How many more though? He has twenty three hundred and sixty three minutes, and Trossard has seventeen hundred forty one minutes. There we minutes. go. That's so almost the, the difference uh, six is about games, six, bro. There's a 600, 700 almost. Exactly. So that's six, seven games plus the two games which he's already behind him, bro. So uh, like it's it's mm-hmm. nearly nine, ten games, bro. Difference. Yeah, but, 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 but don't but, get me wrong. I, all I'm saying is he. I'm not saying he's shit. I'm just saying the way he plays is more risky than how Trossard plays. Mm-hmm. And when we play someone like Kivior, who is a conservative left back who stays back and does not do the attacking stuff. We need to have someone who is clean with the ball. Hmm. That's the only thing I'm saying. Okay. Bro, I'm, 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 roasting, I'm not problem. roasting I'm, Martinelli. It bro. makes sense when Trossard and Zinchenko are playing together. That makes yeah. sense because there's a lot more control on the left side. That's why hmm. Martinelli is doing all that chaotic work because he has to. He has a key viewer that can't go ahead and support him the way hmm. that a Zinchenko would and go ahead and support Trossard. Hmm. You know what I mean? So that's what hmm. I'm saying. That's why he is a lot more... Scattergun than 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 Trossard. That's that's okay. how I'm looking at it, at least. No worries. Let me let's 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 move on. I want to I want us to um 
I want to move on and I want to actually start with obviously what lineups we're looking to go for. So I'm going to ask each and one of you, what is your predicted lineup for um, the Aston Villa game? Um, I'll start off with Hooks. Um, Hooks, what is your predicted lineup? We'll go to the uh, score predictions after, but what's your predicted lineup, mate? Um, so I'd go with Ryer in goal. Um, I'd go with Kirio on the left. I would go with Saliba and Gabriel, if fit. Um, centre-back with Ben White on the right. I would go with a midfield partnership of Partey and Rice and Erdegaard. I would then on the left go Trossard, up front go Havertz, and on the right I would go Bukayo Saka. Actually, sorry, I would actually, sorry, sorry, I would put Saka on the bench and rest him and bring him on as a sub for the Bayern game and, and start with Jesus. That's why I would okay. do it. No worries. Um uh Capo, what is your what is your predicted lineup? I know you gotta go. So what, what is your predicted lineup and score prediction for this game, mate? Uh, so you can I'm gonna go with Carl Hein in net, especially after that calamity no, no, of, uh... no, no, no. <laughs> Let's go, Cedric Suarez. <laughs> no, um listen, man, Raya <laughs> just I I'll keep the the same defensive back four. Um I want to say I want to play Zinni, but it's just looking at Leon Bailey and the wingers, man, it's, nah, it's, it's just not good. So I'll keep Kivio where he is, keep the same back line. Um, I definitely want to see Partey, man. Like, I, 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 we need to see him, you know, especially after the performance Jorginho had. He had a lot of pressure on him. They kind of, uh, Bayern, I mean, um, neutralized him, really. You know, they didn't really get him. They got him out of the game. So... If there's a game for Partey to come in and, and start getting some momentum, it definitely will be this one. Hopefully, uh, I don't get to see Jorginho. So, next to Rice, Odegaard in there. Um, I agree with Hooks. I think Saka need, needs to hold it a little bit. You know, he scored against Bayern, but after that, that's really everything, anything that he did. You know, it was just that goal. Um, I would go Jesus, Havertz, and Martinelli up top. Are you going to hit uh, Jesus on the right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, fair yeah. enough, fair enough. Were well, you saving Saka for the for the buying game? I'm assuming. Yeah, man. Listen, uh, Jesus, right now, bro, he's trying to piss me off with all these excuses. Oh, I'm hurting. Like, listen, my knee hurts. It's raining outside, and I got a you know MCL. I get it, bro. But like, you're getting paid millions. I'm I'm not. You know what I mean? So lock it yeah. up. Keep you know, just keep it to yourself. And, and you're just coming up way too much you know talking yeah, about yeah, oh yeah. i don't let it affect me this and that or the other jesus if you're talking about it it affects you obviously bro because you're talking about it. it if it didn't affect you you wouldn't say shit bro you just be you just be going on with your thing we wouldn't even know unless unless later on in your career you came out and said oh you know that time i was struggling really a lot with like, bro if you're mentioning it now obviously it affects you bro stop saying it doesn't affect you I'm just but, looking um, at it i'm just looking yeah. at it like this we we need fresh legs for Bayern, you know especially away from home so if I can get a, a you know, a, a really good result early on, we get Havertz to rest some legs. We, you know, we bring in Trossard um, and put Jesus on the other side. It's, it's a tricky one, man. We got to play the best 11 nah, from here on in. That's the honest truth. No, nah, yeah. I, I agree, man. We also got to be your... mindful of everybody's kind of uh, minutes, you know what I mean? Yeah. And what's your, what's your, score, what's your score prediction for that I'm, one? I'm, I, know you got go I got a gut right? instinct 2-1, bro. 2-1, yeah, to the Arsenal. Fair, yeah. that's fair, fair, fair. No Last worries, bro. Two one, eh? <laughs> what was that? What was that? Last minute, 2-1, eh? Ah, last minute. No, two, we're going to be 2-0, two, two and then for some reason, it's just at the end, uh, the, the substitution, something's going to happen. I'm, mm. I'm just looking at it like that. Fair, fair enough, fair enough. Fair. Um, well, listen, Capo, I appreciate you, bro, for, for being here, man. Um, we'll let you go. Um, be good, be good, be good. Enjoy the weekend. Up, we'll man. see each other on Sunday, bros. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Big up, my broski. Big Good up, job. big up, big up, big up. Um, T, let's get your predicted predicted lineup. No, uh, no, no uh, prediction yet because we'll we'll do that separately. But um, okay. what's your predicted lineup, my broski, for this game? Well, I will go with uh, Raya, Ben White, Saliba, Gabriel, and uh, you know, I re I really don't want to play Kivior after what happened last game because do mm. they have Bailey? Do they have Bailey? Yeah, yeah, they do. They do, yeah. It's gonna be it's gonna be a mad one. 
You can't put Zinchenko against Bailey. That's all. Yeah, 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 yeah. But both is a little bit. You know what I said? But um, yeah, I, I will. Have they said you Tom is out? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, the only thing I've heard that the uh, that he had a niggle in the Bayern Munich game, but he was on the bench, so I don't know. Oh, have you just heard that from ITK, isn't that? Uh, well, no, I, I was just watching stuff and I just heard that. There I you are. Him because he. Uh, there was... you are. <laughs> oh, no, not not streams, bro. <laughs> bro. So I thought it... there's not said anything about it, yeah. Because I'm starting him. Well. I I I heard that the reason why he played Zinchenko was because Tomiyasu. Oh, had a on that game. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I have a fe gut feeling that it will transfer over to this game as well. Maybe he is still mm. out. You know what I'm saying? Um. So, uh, yeah, that's yeah. Give your fuck it. Um. I agree with the party. Uh. Uh, what what's uh, what Capo said about party? I think we need to see him. I think just, uh, Jorginho needs a little bit of rest uh, yeah. as well. So I would play party, Rice, and uh, Erdegaard. And yeah. the, my forward line will be, you know, I agree with Hooks on this one. I think Saka needs to play. I think Saka will go off against Phil, uh, Villa for some reason uh, because of what happened at the last game. Um, I will play. Havertz mm. and I will play. You know what? I, I'm going to contradict myself about what I said, but maybe I would play Martinelli still. I don't know. I don't I know. Actually, just... I actually put Jesus on the right, by the way. I I, I, start, I switched it because I want to. I want Saka to get a bit of rest and maybe come on as a sub, so he's more oh, okay. a lot more energy for the Bayern game. Mm -hmm. might, he he will start though, like Saka will start yeah, in it. But in my, start. in my in my mind, I would rather him not. Yeah. No. If if this was a like a lower side, because Aston Villa is still Aston Villa, you know what I'm saying? I just yeah. don't want to risk right. it like that. So that's why I would play Saka still, and maybe that's why I would play maybe Martinelli because maybe you know, say I'm just I'm just holding on to something, just hoping that one game he will just be back uh, to his form. You know what I'm saying? Just 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 start bombing again. This is what yeah. I hope, but um, yeah, so I will play Martinelli. Martinelli, fuck okay. Yeah, fair him. enough, fair enough. Um, my starting 11, I'm going to go with David Raya. I am going to go with Benjamin White, Benny Blanco. I'm going to go with William Saliba, Gabriel, um, and Tom Yasu in the back line. Um, he, uh, from what I've seen, from what I've seen, he, he was in training, bro. So I'm, I'm taking it as he's fit. If that's you know the case, then I would put him in my 11 as well. Okay, yeah. From what I've seen, he's in training. Um, from all of these James, uh, whatever Kent and and all of these other guys, bro, just Oli, AFTV, and all them, man. They, they, the only person that was away from training and wasn't seen in training was Gabriel, to to my knowledge, and he's he's fine. I've heard. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go with Tomiyasu at left back. Um, in the midfield for me, I'm going with Deckers. I'm going with Thomas Party and. Martin Erdegaard um, for the front line. Uh, I agree with you guys. I think Saka needs a bit of rest before this Bayern Munich game. So I'm going to go with Jesus on the right. I'm going to go with Havertz down the middle. And I am going to go with Nelly on the left. Um, and yeah, I, th I think that's going to that's gonna be a good team now to go out there. Um, still fairly strong. Um, I think the only player that's going to be really missing and coming off the bench is... Um, is Saka, do you know what I mean? Um, which I think is not really much of an issue, not much of a problem, and um, yeah, I can't lie. I, I think I think it's all it's it, we should we should be okay with that. Um, if Tommy Yasu is fit enough to start, I would I would start Tommy Yasu, but I just question whether he's fit enough to start. Hmm. And uh, just moving on, what what's the predictions? What are predictions for you guys, man? I'm going to know Arsenal. 2-0, yeah? Yeah, 2-0. I'm See? going bo I'm going boring again and I will say 3-1. I will I will keep keep holding on to that one thing. If 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 it fails this game as well, I will never do it ever again. There you are. <laughs> there you are. 3-1. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Um yeah, listen, I'm going to go with a mm, 
I'm going to go with a prediction of 2-0. I think we'll keep a clean sheet. Uh, I think it's going to be 2-0 um, to the Arsenal. I think I think we will keep a clean sheet, to be honest. Um, it's not going to be too bad for us. Um, and I think we will go, be able to go out there, put a decent performance out. The boys will um, be able to handle this one and on to the next, obviously, as we move on to, uh, you know, trying to, trying to, trying to, trying to get to that, um, trying to get to that, uh, next step, which is we need to, we need to, we need to get to that Bayern Munich game and, and win that. Do you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, listen, I, I, I think, I think the boys should be okay with this, um, and should be able to sort that out and sort themselves out. Sorry. And yeah, I, I, th I think they should be all good. Um, but yeah, listen, lads, um, I appreciate you guys for coming through, um, joining me for this one. Um, all links are down below. So make sure to go get, at, um, make sure to go and subscribe to Halftime Hooks on his YouTube channel. Uh, recently been put out and he's got some videos up there. So make sure to click the link down in the description and go over to his channel. Also, the link to uh, T's Twitter. So make sure to go over there and hit him up with a follow. Um, also, Capo on, in there as well. Um, I'm going to pass you over to, uh, uh, pass you over to TJ. So go over to TJ's channel. Um, hit a like over there. Uh, make sure to smash on a like over here. Um, tell him Saad sent you. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I'll see you guys on the next one, my people. Peace out.